Unbox the rewinder. Remove the tie wraps holding down the mandrel and dancer arm. To install the guide plate, remove the thumb screws on the rewinder. Align the rewinder to the plate and install the thumb screws. Do not tighten the thumb screws at this time. To load the label stock, turn the knob on the mandrel counterclockwise and remove the end cap. Install the roll of label material. Install the end cap and lock it into place. This is keyed and needs to be located in the correct position to be installed. Turn the knob clockwise until you hear a clicking noise. Open the media door. Raise the tension bar. Lift the input roller. Insert the media, aligning it with the guide and the D-shaped guide pin. Lower the input roller and lower the tension bar. Adjust the media guide to the edge of the label stock. Close the media door. The printer will apply tension to the roll. To feed material through the printer, remove the panel on the right side of the control panel. Press the feed button and press 1 on the front panel. Material will now feed through the printer. With an empty core on the rewinder mandrel, attach the stock to the core. Manually turn the rewinder to take up the slack. Adjust the rewinder position, if necessary, to align the stock to the printer. Power on the rewinder. Submit the print job from the computer. Once the data reaches the printer, the material will start feeding through the printer. There will be blank material fed through the printer as the fuser gets to the correct temperature. Once the temperature is reached, printing will begin. Once the job completes, the material will be cut and the finished roll will be on the rewinder core.